What's up guys, it's Default here. So today I'm gonna to be showing you about these OCO brackets over here on Webull. I got invited to the beta program. If you don't have this enabled on your account, you can email them and ask them to enable it on your account and they more than likely will. So if you don't know what OCO brackets are or, or Active Trader, you're gonna need that for this video. I suggest you go and watch my last video where I explain that more in detail. So you come over here to your Active Trader settings and you create a new button. So let me go ahead and delete this one. And we'll make a new one. You want to give it a name, whatever you want. Just put beta test for the video and uh, change the type to option. And this is going to be a buy button. So you come to the settings. Obviously, we're going to have this at limit. I'm putting one contract at the bid. And your offset is determined by the spread of the contracts that you're going to be playing. So if you're doing something like SPA or something that's very liquid, you can have um, a little bit of a, a wider offset, so like three or, or four or something like that. But if you're playing something that's really spready, you have to be careful because you're, you can get into a position already negative. So definitely be mindful of that. So for this example, I'm just gonna have it at one. Enable both the TP and the stop loss. I'm gonna just set these both to the defaulted 20%. And then you can set a hotkey. So I'll put Control V, and then you enable the button. So now you see it popped up over here in Active Trader. So now you go find what you want to trade. So say we want to trade Visa, and we want to trade these 232.5 calls. So now that you've found what you want to trade, you would either press your hotkey configuration, which would be Control V for this example, or you just come over here and press the button. So when you press the button, your order confirmation is going to come up. It's going to have your buy order, which is at 32, stop loss 26, and TP at 38. So all these are going to execute simultaneously. So there we go. We're in a position right now. If you want to move your stop losses, you can do this with a slider scale manually. It's really great um, as opposed to having to go and like calculate premiums on the fly. And it just saves you a lot of time, helps you manage your positions. So um, you've already calculated your risk. So you know what you're doing and you're not having to do things on the fly, which is really just ridiculous. And you can do that with your TP as well. So if you wanted to like have a bigger potential profit margin, or if you wanted to manage your positions, say you're in the green and you want to set it at break even, or you want to set it um, in the, in the positive. So if you get stopped out, at least you made some profit, you can do that very simply. So if you want to get out of the position manually, say with like a market order, for this example, I only have one contract, so I wouldn't be able to because I have these conditional orders already set. So I would have to actually cancel out of these. And now I can do my market sell and I'm out. So I definitely suggest you guys checking out OCO brackets. It's, uh, it's really changed changed up my trading as an intraday scalper as, as well as with um, hotkeys and active trader. I've been using it a long time on, on Thinkorswim. So I'm really excited to see it coming over to Webull. If you found this video like helpful or educational, go ahead and drop me a like, subscribe and follow. I'm gonna be making a lot more content like this in the future. All right, you guys have a good day.